Good morning, family. Praises to the Most High and to Yeshua, His Son, Jesus Christ, um, and unto the Ruach. Blessings, 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 family. I'm coming back on with another video. Um, for some time now, I want to say about five days, I wasn't led to uh, make any videos. Um, I was pulled back um, from just a lot of things going on as far as the internet, the different platforms, and also just the news in general. So um, I was actually in meditation as um, far as in prayer, praying and um, seeking the Almighty um, for more understanding on different um, things that I've been wanting to get more clarity on. But um, as you see before you is the picture, which is a lady in a wedding dress that has her back turned. I'm going to explain a little bit more about that wedding um, picture with this bride. So I'm going to read to you what I typed up for uh, my Facebook followers. And um, you'll get a bit of understanding. So it's a testimony. It says, good morning, family. And I gave um, praises to the Most High. Our Elohim, um, His Son Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach. This is the picture of the bride with her back turned that I receive in a supernatural way to my phone on the 27th of this month. I never downloaded this picture, never been on any website looking for wedding dresses. The other picture is from the details of the download. Amazing revelation from the Most High that I was the bride of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And I was turning my back on him as my bridegroom. I wasn't trusting him for which I had seek him for many things, not waiting on him. He also gave me um, Zephaniah 3 for me to read after I was in darkness for most part of the day until around 10 p.m. that night. I didn't feel the peace and love from the Almighty until I heard his voice and he gave me that scripture. Family, it was a horrible feeling, but I kept crying out to him like a baby and he came to me. Light began to fill my heart and I received peace once again and felt his love. What if I didn't? What if I just walked away and just say, whatever. That's where he could have just allowed the enemy to come in and just take me over. I'm grateful on the day, family. I give him praises on today. Um, he want us to trust in him. He want us to believe on him. He want us to know without a shadow of a doubt. And um, I know I'm never going to come on and say I'm perfect, that I know all things. Um, and I know in this um, through, um, you know, being taught and um, being, a, you know, a newborn babe in so many ways. I know that in this that he's teaching me and the feeling that I had most part of the day was not a feeling I wanted because someone said something that lingered. And every time I try to come out of that thought, I was stuck in it in the sense of believing, you know, uh, just taking it on upon me. And he allowed that to happen. Even though I was praying throughout the day, I didn't get a breakthrough until about 10 p.m., you all. And it was a horrible feeling. Horrible. So I know and I say um, just to all trust in him, um, seek him for what you needing to know, but we need to wait on him, wait on him. And immediately when things enter, you know, far as try to enter, I'm sorry, we, we should 
no to rebuke and not take upon on us anything that um, wasn't given. And we would know this because in what he shared with me in uh, Zephaniah 3, um, I was like just laying there after crying out to him. And I never, ever really, you know, called the most high daddy. But in that moment, I was, I literally, you know, called him because it's like we all got or have a way of how we, you know, call out to him. But I was in a place where it, it just was natural that I said that. That's just how intimate, how, you know, what I, you know, felt in the sense of, um, you know, which we always think that we'll go one way or be that way. But I, I was, you know, really trying to get to a place where I once was in that peace, in that love with that light. And I didn't feel it. I didn't, I didn't, you know, um, of course felt that. So I wanted to get there and I needed to seek him. I needed to cry out to him. And that's what I did. And I heard a voice and told me Zephaniah three, and it was actually three and five. And that, uh, book is one of our, the smallest book in the Bible, only three chapters, but I read it as I was going through my, uh, reading the Bible, but I didn't remember, um, where it was. It would have never came to mind. Um, it was supernatural as well that he spoke and gave me that. So I'm going to take you to that as well. So to your right, you see the time it actually downloaded to my phone three um, on, uh, March the 27th, um, at 12, 22 PM. And, um, this is the information, but I did not, um, I was, like I said, I was away from my phone. Um, I wasn't looking at the news. I wasn't on any websites. I wasn't seeking, um, you know, through Google or anything, searching through Google or anything. You all, I came back to my phone and I, you know, clicked on it. And when I opened it up, this download was there of the lady in uh, the wedding dress with her back turned. And I'm like, where did this come from? And then it's a download. I, I wasn't on any websites. I didn't go anywhere within my phone for days because of, you know, what the almighty was leading me um, to just meditate and read his word and, you know, pray and whatnot. So it, it just was there. So that's the reason why I'm showing the actual, um, far as the details to this picture. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, um, let me go here. So this is what, um, he led me to three and five. So I'm going to start there. Then I'm going to go back at the top. He said, the Lord is in this thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So that was the first scripture that he led me to. But when we go back up to the top here, it says, woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in the Lord. She drew not near to her God. Her princes within her are rowing lions. Her judge judges are evening evening wolves they gnaw not the bones till the morrow her prophets are light and treacherous persons her priests have polluted the sanctuary they have done violence to the law so in this family i've been seeking 
and for many things and wanted clarity and understanding. And through this, he gave me a lot of um, information far as confirmation um, where it says, I have cut off the nations, their time. I made their streets waste that none passes by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I said, surely thou will fear me, thou will receive instruction. So their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day I will rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Like nothing that um, what I had saw on the news days before I was led to go into that three day spill of um, like, you know, of just seeking him um, meditation and praying. I had just saw um, that was just was happening with, you know, surrounding uh, the White House and the Congress and. Um, just so much that was going on and I, I was very hard, you know, broken in the sense of just knowing that so many people are hurting and they don't know to turn to the almighty. And I was just crying out for him for, you know, just seeing how there appear that they, some are getting away with the things that they're doing. So all of this came in this one, um, chapter. Amen. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. He will give our language back to us as Hebrews, that they may all call upon my name of the Lord to serve him with one consent from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my supplicants, even the daughter of my dispersed shall bring my offering. In that day shall thou not be ashamed of all the, thy doings wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee, of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. Amen. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart of uh, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away thy judgments. He has cast thy enemy, the king of Israel, even the Lord in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to uh, Jerusalem, fear thou not. And to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Amen. At that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord. Amen, family. Amen. So, after that was given, in the midst of that was given, I'm sorry, as I started reading. 
My heart became back full. I felt the love and I love that was even more, um, more so than ever. Um, the light came back. The, the peace came back in me reading this. So I just want to encourage all get close to God almighty, like never before know, um, that he is real, that he sees us in our moment of despair. He sees us in our moment of hurt. And what if I just let it be and ignore the fact that that day was dark, that he could have just turned me over and allow, you know, the enemy just to take me over. But for his mercy, his love, and by me, I know by me, you know, crying out to him, crying out to him like a baby, asking him for that peace to come back, for that love to come back, for me to feel, for me to take me out that dark moment. Family, it's like, you know, we want to be in groups. We want to be associate, you know, associated with others. But individually, we need to work our own soul salvation. I can't say this enough. Please get this and know this. Don't try to balance out what you see others in others, but you don't have anything of your own towards God Almighty, towards Yeshua by having a personal relationship. A personal relationship. If he would have told me the week before, that I would have experienced what I've experienced that day. I would have been like, I want to say Peter Simon who said, no, not me, Lord. I will not deny you or say, I didn't know you three times, but you all, it happened. And I'm here to give my testimony to say, we need to seek him. Once we do, we need to wait. We need to know his voice and not let any and other things such as the devil take over and try to put thoughts in our head. And when we get to a place where we know and understand this truth, that is not the almighty giving it. We need to rebuke it. Amen. 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 So blessings, family. Happy Shabbat. On the Sabbath day, Shalom.